What's going on guys? Kevin Fox here from Fox Fishing 4K. If you're looking for a video all about setting up a otter flip, this is the video for you. Let's get at it. Woo! This is the resort. It's huge, it's heavy. I suggest get a couple guys if you're ever doing this, because this thing is an absolute beast. Oh no! That went actually surprisingly well. I didn't think it was gonna go that well. I'm gonna put a GoPro up above. You're gonna see every single step from opening the plastic, putting on the Hyfax runner, you name it, it's all here. Let's begin. All right, so it's nighttime. I went and grabbed a couple more things that didn't come with the otter. The tow bar to be able to hook it to the sled. Otter high facts. These are the runners for underneath the tub. I also picked up that doesn't come with it is a cover. Make sure whatever one you're getting, you get the right size high facts according to your tub. Big bag of screws. So I've got most of the nuts installed. Right now I'm just hand tightening them and then I'll get a drill and tighten these up. But what I noticed is when I drilled these holes, little piece of plastic right here comes up when you would drill. I got this tool here. All I would do is look at the screw, put this on that little piece of plastic and just turn like that and it pops it off. You put your washer on. The washer sits a lot flatter to your tub. Maybe it's just my OCD. I think it looks a lot cleaner and much nicer installation. All right, got my drill, 10 millimeter. Starting off, you need to open this long box first. What we need are these things right here. These, they gotta get mounted on the tub first. On the directions, you wanna put them, you wanna face your tub this direction, same as the picture, and put them on the left side, those two brackets. And it says to use a 5 16th drill bit. It says lay the tub on its side. So if you can kinda of see there, you can see the marks underneath. So don't go guessing from the top, just drill from the bottom. For these um, hex nuts on the bottom of this, you're gonna need an 11 mil. It's 10 mil for all the small bolts on the inside of the tub, 11 mil for these. So we get 17, which is a long, thin one. So on this, it will actually say right side or left side center. These are the ones you want. It starts off the middle center bar. Number 11 goes on the left towards the front of the tub, and number 12 goes to the right of the tub. And then this one goes in the middle. You're supposed to push this until it clicks. And you want that to go past the little clicky thing. There, I heard it click. That's clicked in, you can see the little piece in there. You wanna make sure that's popped, that's clicked. So next. The other side. There. And she clicked. They want you to do next. It has the black coupling on it. And this one is the middle mainframe, resort center pivot. And this one attaches to 13 and 14. 13 and 14, the way you can tell these, they have the white on the ends. Okay. We got that bar. We got that bar. 
bar done. Well, this, you're grabbing the bar with this kind of end on it, and this, and we're attaching these guys. 15 curves in to the right. This one is 15. So this one curves in this way, and this curves up. So these ones are a little bit tricky to understand, guys. Uh, it took me a second to figure this out. So this bar here, and this bar here, the black with the little leg, you see this little pin? It looks like it, it, it squeezes down. You would think that it would fit that hole. It doesn't, okay? So this one here, goes in like this it doesn't that thing does not line up with this hole it skips past it you go past that little thing and this thing goes into this black thing and this tightens in with these guys they pop into that hole so that was a bit confusing for me there that popped in now that thing that little pin is actually made for these like that okay so tightens up like that. That's what that's for. I'll pull this other one out and extend it until it pops. Oh, right there. So we have this one like so and this one like so. Next we get the quick switch stuff and the quick switch actually attaches to these bars. So I'm putting the, basically the middle of this plastic thing at four and a half. Same on this one. And just tighten these guys up. All right, now it says add a 17 to these. So here's a 17. show you guys why this isn't going in. See that black thing in there? If you look at the bottom part of it, it's touching the metal. So that other metal thing can't slide in behind. So I'm gonna get a little flathead screwdriver and lift that up a bit. And I'm just going to pry that plastic up a bit. And hopefully that's just enough space now to let the metal slide in there. Yeah, that clicked in. So definitely, if you guys are having that issue, there's a ghost in here. So if you're having that issue, check the inside of the pipe. If that black piece is down, the metal's not gonna slide past it. Um, so what I did is, as you're sliding it in, whichever way it's touching the metal, push down on that, separate it, get the metal past it. Once it's past, it'll move. So that was a pain in the butt, but we figured it out. Add some metal caps. Add this metal cap to this. Add the metal cap to this end. Okay. And now it's there. So it won't say back and main on your 17, your cross beam. It's the arms here that will say back or main because they change the length for going backwards. So definitely make sure you have the back one going to the back. So it says attach the white mainframe bar now. So basically, this guy here. Oh, there we go. And that popped on. And that popped on. But now, bottom mainframe. Black caps to add to it. Last two black caps. Okay. All right, it wants us to set these bars up now.
I started this. So I did the front Velcro up just on this bottom piece, this piece here. I basically started this one right down here on this. And what I found is as I went, everything lined up. And these three here, one, two, three, kind of ended like one, two, three. Okay, so that is like that. Now I think I gotta get inside and kind of pop this up. basically popped up so let's take first look with it inside it's big man this will be sick for filming look at the size of this so I can literally lock this thing up here have this like this I can be sitting right here fishing Whee! grab a fish boom it's a giant, let's go. I've done most of them around the edge. And what you wanna make sure is, when you look at these things, I'm gonna show you this. You can see they have an edge, it sticks out. It's kind of like a boot. See this one edge sticking out that way? That goes in towards the ice hut. So I'll hold it this way. This part that sticks out over here, that's going in towards the ice hut. For the back, they use four pieces. Uh, there's two long pieces in the front, two long pieces on the side, and then the back is four misshaped ones. It's like an 18, two 25s and a 10. It's kind of weird, but this is how she goes. So what you gotta do is, I just try to take my material close as I can to the corner, pull it down, and then just pop this guy on. Just like so. Slide that as far as I can to that corner. I'm happy with that. Just need to throw the screws in it and the outside is done. But I'm guessing over three hours, three and a half hours for this setup so far. The more you do this, probably the easier it is. But this is only my second time doing it. And uh, yeah, it was a few years ago when I did it last. So, and I don't remember anything about it. So I'm gonna put screws in around this edge and then it'll be building the seats.